ओम शांति टुडे इज सतगुरुवार द फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रैल 2024 ऑन दिस थर्सडे मॉर्निंग लेट अस लिसन टू द साकार मुरली फ्रॉम आवर बिलवेड बाप दादा बाप दादा मधुबन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम द फुल इनहेरिटेंस फ्रॉम द पारलोकिक फादर वाइल लिविंग एट होम विद योर फैमिलीज एक्सचेंज एवरीथिंग यू हैव दिस इज अ वेरी बिग बिजनेस Let's hear the essence once again on this Thursday morning. Baba says, "Sweet children, in order to claim the full inheritance from the Parlokic Father while living at home with your families, exchange everything you have. This is a very big business." Today's question is, in which aspect does the knowledge of the drama help you children very much? So, in answer, Baba says, "When your body has an illness." the knowledge of the drama helps you very much so in which aspect does the knowledge of the drama help us children baba says when your body has an illness the knowledge of the drama helps you very much because you know that this drama will repeat identically there is no need to weep or wail over this the karmic accounts have to be settled this sorrow is experienced to be nothing when compared to the happiness of 21 births when there isn't full knowledge you have discomfort so baba says the knowledge of the drama helps us very much because we know that the drama will repeat identically om shanti god speaks god is the one who doesn't have a body of his own it isn't that god doesn't have a name form place or time no god doesn't have a body of his own all other souls have bodies of their own the father now says sweetest spiritual children sit here while considering yourselves to be souls what does baba say sweetest spiritual children sit here while considering yourselves to be souls in any case it is a soul that listens plays a part and acts through a body it is souls that carry sanskars so what does a soul do it is a soul that listens plays a part and acts through a body it is souls that carry the sanskars it is souls that experience the fruit of good and bad actions through their bodies no one experiences anything or suffers the consequences without a body this is why the father says sit here while considering yourselves to be souls baba is speaking this knowledge to us i this soul am listening through this body so what should we understand i this soul am listening through this body god speaks man manabhav renounce your bodies including all your bodily religions so what does baba say man manabhav renounce your bodies including all your bodily religions consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father only the one father who is the god of the gita tells you this god means the one who is beyond birth and death the father explains my birth is alokik no one else takes a birth in this way so baba's birth is alokik baba says no one else takes a birth in this way in the way that i enter this one meaning brahma baba's body you should remember this very well it isn't that god does everything that he is worthy of worship and a worshipper or that he is in pebbles and stones they show 24 incarnations the incarnations into a crocodile and a fish the parashurama incarnation that is rama with an axe you now understand whether god would sit and incarnate as parashurama and commit violence with an axe that is wrong just as they have said that god is omnipresent in the same way they have written that the duration of each cycle is hundreds of thousands of years so baba says this is called immense darkness that is they don't have this knowledge there is light through knowledge now there is immense darkness of ignorance you children are now in extreme light you know everyone very well those who have no knowledge continue to perform worship etc you now know everyone and so there is no need for you to worship anyone you have now been liberated from worshiping you are now making effort to become worthy of worship deities so what are we becoming we are becoming now 
we are making effort to become worthy of worship deities we have been liberated from worshiping baba says you were worthy of worship deities and you then became worshipper human beings human beings have devilish dictates and this is why it is sung human beings were made into deities it didn't take god long to change human beings into deities he makes you into deities in a second as soon as you recognize the father you began to call him shiv baba by saying baba it enters your heart that you become the masters of the world and the masters of heaven that one is the unlimited father you have now come and instantly belong to the father the father then says while living at home with your families claim the inheritance from the parlokic father you have been receiving your worldly inheritances you must now exchange the worldly inheritance with the inheritance from the parlokic father so what should we do baba says you have been receiving worldly inheritances you must now exchange the worldly inheritance with the inheritance from the parlokic father this is such a good business what would a worldly inheritance be this is an unlimited inheritance and poor ones are able to claim it quickly he adopts poor ones means shiv baba adopts poor ones the father is the lord of the poor it is also remembered i am the lord of the poor bharat is the poorest of all i come in bharat i come and make it wealthy the praise of bharat is very important so baba says the praise of bharat is very important it is the greatest pilgrimage place of all however by saying that the duration of the cycle is so long they have completely forgotten this they understand that bharat was very wealthy and that it has now become poor previously grain etc all used to be exported abroad from here you now understand that bharat is very poor and this is why they give help it is like that when an important personality fails people decide among themselves how to help that one this bharat is the most ancient of all bharat itself was heaven so what is baba saying this bharat is the most ancient of all bharat itself was heaven at first there was the original eternal deity religion it is just that they have lengthened its duration and this is why they have become confused they give so much help to bharat the father too has to come to bharat baba says the father too has to come in bharat you children know that you are claiming the inheritance from the father you are exchanging your inheritances from your physical fathers with the inheritance from the parlokic father just as this one that is brahma did so what are we doing we are exchanging our inheritances from our physical father and claiming it with the inheritance from the parlokic father just as brahma baba did baba says look you receive a crown and a throne from your parlokic father there is such a big difference between this sovereignty and that donkey ship it is said follow the father there is no question of starving to death baba says that the father says look after everything as a trustee the father comes and shows you an easy path children have faced many difficulties and this is why they call out to the father oh supreme father supreme soul have mercy no one remembers the father at times of happiness everyone remembers him at times of sorrow the father now shows you how to remember him you don't even know how to remember him baba says i myself come and show you children consider yourselves to be souls and remember the parlokic father and your sins will be cut away so baba says children consider yourselves to be souls and remember the parlokic father and your sins will be cut away you receive happiness by remembering baba and all the sufferings of your bodies ends you souls and your bodies will both become pure you were so pure then while taking rebirth souls have been covered with rust they receive old bodies just as alloy is mixed into gold the jewelry of pure gold is also there it has that shine jewelry with an alloy mixed in it will tarnish so what is baba saying the jewelry of pure gold is also pure it has that shine jewelry with alloy mixed in it will tarnish 
द फादर सेज यू ऑल्सो हैव अलॉय मिक्सड इन यू दैट नाउ हैज़ टू बी रिमूव हाउ विल इट बी रिमूव हैव योग विद द फादर यू हैव टू हैव योग विद द वन हु इज टीचिंग यू दैट वन इज एवरीथिंग द फादर टीचर एंड सदगुरु सो दैट वन मीनिंग शिव बाबा इज एवरीथिंग द फादर टीचर एंड सदगुरु रिमेंबर हिम एंड योर सिंस विल बी अब्जॉल्व he is also teaching you baba says you call me the purifier and the almighty authority the father explains to you in the same way every cycle sweetest beloved long lost and now found children you have come and met me after 5000 years baba says this is why you are called the long lost and now found ones now renounce the arrogance of your bodies and become soul conscious you have been given the knowledge of souls which no one but the father can give there is no human being who has this knowledge of souls none of the sanyasis saints or gurus know this they don't have that strength now everyone's strength has been reduced baba says the whole tree has reached a state of total decay a new one is being established the father comes and explains to you the secrets of the variety tree he says previously you were in the kingdom of rama and then you went on to the path of sin the kingdom of ravan began and the other religions then came the path of devotion began previously you didn't know this so what happened baba says previously you were in the kingdom of rama and then when you went on to the path of sin the kingdom of ravan began and the other religions then came the path of devotion began previously you didn't know this go and ask anyone do you know the creator or the beginning middle and end of creation no one will be able to tell you the father says to you devotees you can now judge for yourselves you can even write on boards what would you call an actor who doesn't know the director creator and principal actor of the drama we souls come here and adopt bodies to play our different parts and so this definitely is a play the geeta is the mother and shiva is the father and all the rest is the creation the new world is created through the geeta no one knows how the new world is created at first there are only you souls in the new world baba says this is the most auspicious confluence aged world this world is not old and it is not new this is the confluence age so this world is not old and it is not new this is the confluence age this is the top knot of brahmins in the variety form image they show neither shiv baba nor the top knot of brahmins so in the variety form image they neither show shiv baba nor the top knot of brahmins you have shown the top knot at the top you brahmins are sitting here after the deities there are the warriors in the copper age they are the worshippers of the stomach that means merchants are represented by the stomach in the variety form image and then they become shudras this is a somar salt so we have the cycle of brahmin kshatriya vaishya and shudra baba says this is a somar salt you simply have to remember the somar salt this is a pilgrimage of 84 births for you you remember everything in a second we go around the cycle in this way this image is right and that image is wrong no one except the father can have the right picture made the father explains through this one meaning brahma baba this is how you perform the somar salt your pilgrimage takes place in a second there is no question of any difficulty you spiritual children understand that the father is teaching you this company of the truth that is satsang is the true father other company is false the father establishes the land of truth human beings don't have that power so the father establishes the land of truth human beings don't have that power god alone can do that god alone is called the ocean of knowledge human beings do not know that this is praise of the supreme soul that ocean of peace is giving you peace baba says you perform the drill in the morning too you become detached from your bodies and stay in remembrance of the father you have come here to die alive you surrender yourselves to the father this is an old world and these are old costumes and so you have distaste for them 
you want to leave them and depart so this is an old world and these are old costumes so baba says you have distaste for them you want to leave them and depart you should not remember anything you have forgotten everything you even say that god gave everything therefore now give it back to him god then says to you just become trustees god will not become the trustee become trustees and you will then not commit any sin previously there was the give and take of sinful souls with sinful souls now at the confluence age your exchange is not with the sinful souls if you donate to sinful souls the sin of that will accumulate on your head you give it in the name of god to sinful souls the father doesn't take anything the father would say go and open a center and many will be benefited the father explains whatever happens it continues to repeat identically according to the drama so then there is no question of weeping or wailing it is good that the karmic accounts are being settled herbalists say all the illness will erupt the father also says all the karmic accounts that remain have to be settled either with yog or with punishment so what is baba saying all the karmic accounts that remain have to be settled either with yog or with punishment punishment is very severe it is better for the accounts to be settled with illness etc rather than with punishment the punishments are very severe so it would be better if you settled everything by illness etc that sorrow is not experienced to be anything when compared with the 21 births of happiness because there is so much happiness baba says when there isn't full knowledge there is discomfort in illness when someone falls ill he remembers god a great deal that too is good baba says that too is good when during illness someone remembers god a great deal you have to remember the one alone he also continues to explain to you those people remember gurus they have so many gurus only you know the one satguru he is the almighty authority the father says i know those vedas and the granth etc they are the paraphernalia of devotion no one can attain me through those the father comes into the world of sinful souls how can there be charitable souls here i enter the body of the one who has taken the full 84 births this one hears everything first meaning brahma baba hears everything first through shiv baba baba says you are able to stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance very well here all those storms will come here too the father still continues to explain consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father so what should we do consider ourselves to be souls and remember the father you heard the knowledge in this way in the previous cycle too you continue to listen to it day after day a kingdom is being established the old world also has to be destroyed acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father today's essence for dharna has two points the first point wake up early in the morning and perform the drill of becoming detached from your body do not remember the old world or your old costume you have to forget everything second point at the confluence age your give and take should not be with sinful souls settle your karmic accounts in happiness do not weep or wail surrender everything to the father and look after everything as a trustee today's blessing may you be an intense effort maker and bring about self transformation with the power of realization blessing once again baba says may you be an intense effort maker and bring about self transformation with the power of realization baba explains the basis of an easy transformation is the power of realization until you develop the power of realization you cannot experience it until you experience this the foundation of the speciality of brahmin life cannot be strong 
nor will there be any zeal or enthusiasm in your activity. When the power of realization makes you experienced in every situation, you will then become an intense effort maker. The power of realization enables you to have easy transformation all the time. Finally, the slogan for today, let love emerge in your corporeal form and become equal to Father Brahma. Slogan once again, let love emerge in your corporeal form and become equal to Father Brahma. Acha Om Shanti.